and I love seeing sort of honestly Jake take over one of my favorite Patrick Swayze roles so I kind of want to flip it what is a great Jake Gyllenhaal role you would have loved to have seen Patrick oh. Swayze play oh my god oh. that's hysterical did I just get a ooh from yeah. the outside of the room that's a good oh. ass question oh. bubble boy you can say bubble boy could you like demonstrate to me just how close no, don't you do actually that. No, no you don't want to do yeah, that is Good to see you guys again. Hi. Great to see you, Jake. Um, Jake, I'm going to start with you. You know, I love that, that your character in this, he's able to fight in the Roadhouse because he recalls sort of his, his past life. He was a UFC fighter. And I'm always curious how well sort of movie training transfers over into real life. So if tonight in Austin someone picked a fight with you, <laughs> How, would you be able to sort of snap into Roadhouse um, mode? No, the answer to that, Jake, is no. No, I couldn't. Uh, there is a thing called movie magic, and uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's in full effect in this movie. But no, I mean, yeah, I learned a lot. I mean, I learned a lot. I was working with the, one of the best professional MMA fighters, you know, UFC fighters mm -hmm. ever. Um, so there was, you know, real stuff happening all the time. And I've done a lot of fighting in movies, and I have trained in MMA. I've trained boxing and stuff like that. And... But ultimately, in the end, like that is not my forte. My forte, I hope, is in is in performing and acting, and um, I hope it continues in that way. So um, I'll just say, I'm so sorry. I'm an actor, and I uh, uh, drinks are on me. You know. <laughs> there, so the key to get a free drink <laughs> is pick a fight with Jake Dylan Hall in the bar. That's, not that's, what I, that's, that's the headline. Of, <laughs> yeah. I, though I still would be nervous with. I mean, Connor, his entire life, he's trained to not miss people, so yes. that right. that would make me very nervous. Um, I'm a huge Patrick Swayze fan. Like I grew up on Patrick oh, Swayze nice. movies, and and I love seeing. Sort of honestly, Jake take over one of my favorite Patrick Swayze roles. So I kind of want to flip it. What is a great Jake Gyllenhaal role you would have loved to have seen Patrick oh. Swayze play? Oh my God, that's hysterical! Oh. Did I just get a ooh from yeah. the outside of the room? That's a good oh. ass question. Oh. Bubble Boy, you can say Bubble Boy. Oh my God, okay, mm. all Dance right. Dance sequence in Bubble Boy. Gosh, like for the record, Bubble I Boy. love Bubble Boy. Yeah, me too. I know. I, I would love to see. I would have loved to seen. Uh, Patrick in that. I could see. I could see him. First of all, I could see him in any in any role of his. I would be curious. I mean, I don't know. I just rewatched um, Zodiac, and it was just blowing. I don't want to see Patrick Swayze yeah. do that, but it was just good. I just want to say that movie rips. It's Fincher's best movie. It's so freaking good. Hmm. It's so I don't know. Yeah, I'm yeah. kind of. I don't know. Uh, Nightcrawler. Oh, Patrick Ooh. and Nightcrawler. Wow. Yeah. Yes. He does that. well. The thing is, it's like the thing about him is he's like sometimes on a moody. He's on like a moody, mm -hmm. like drip. You know, like sometimes he's like, he's like I'm gonna do a moody movie. Prisoners? I'm gonna make you a little scared. I, you're not gonna. Oh. Prisoners is so good. Yeah. No, I don't want to see. Jake, do you want to step out while that. we just gush over your entire I know, filmography? Like I we know. can do that. <laughs> yeah. I'll take it. Uh, well, yeah. Speaking of people freaking out about you, I want to talk about the day whenever you you surprised everyone and showed up in the in the octagon. And people don't expect when you go to UFC, you don't expect to see Jake Gyllenhaal roll in there. So whenever you yeah. looked out of that octagon, how many faces did you interpret as? Is that fucking Jake Gyllenhaal in there? Um, that's not what I was thinking about. <laughs> 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 like, I, I, the thing is, it was it's interesting to me. Like it. I love the theater. I, I do a lot of theater, and so like walking into the octagon was somewhat similar to that, and absolutely nothing like that at all at the same time. So all, the, but the energy from the fans was electric and so positive. Like you just felt as soon as you walked in there. First of all, that's a sacred space, mm -hmm. um, and to me, like to me, the, the theater is that to me in my profession. In, in that profession, that is a sacred space. To be allowed in there was an mm -hmm. honor, mm -hmm. um, and so I. As soon as I walked in there, I thought, very few people have the opportunity to do this. This is one of the most incredible parts of my job, is that I found myself in places where I'm like, oh my God, like, I'm sitting next to Eminem. To be in the ring was uh, something I'll never forget. I was high for a week afterwards mm -hmm. from the excitement of it. I, I, I just, it was, it was really amazing. But I, I wasn't, I wasn't thinking about. You put your head down, you go, sorry, you know? <laughs> <laughs> sorry guys, the real stuff's coming up. I'm sorry, Plus we just gotta get this done, you know. Uh, they're giving yeah. me the wrap. I'm gonna squeeze in one more. One of my favorite sort of weird facts. Someone interviewed Ted Turner one time, mm -hmm. and they asked him, why do you air Roadhouse so often at 2 a.m. on the weekends? Mm -hmm. And he said it's because the ratings are insane because mm -hmm. people come home drunk from the bars, they're sort of feeling oh. good, and they go. Roadhouse is on, and then no they turn way. on Roadhouse. So that yields my question. What is your come home drunk from the bar at 2 a.m. movie that you turn on? Oh, wow. 
Um, it's wow. it's not a, a, a movie. I'll just go on YouTube and look at music videos from the Audis. So I'll just like look at a Britney Spears video or Michelle Branch or something, mm. and I'll just get wasted and roll all over. Totally, yeah. I need you. Um, and I'll just roll all over the lawn. I never come back drunk from a bar at two years. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can to, remember yeah, the last I just, time that I drank. I have to raise drink. my hand to that too. I don't, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to, but I mean, whenever I have friends over, we have game night, mm -hmm. and we all, actually, there's a couple of, it's a genre or something that it's like if you high, you know, those kinds of Instagrams and stuff mm -hmm. that you don't have to be high to find them funny yeah. because they're so ridiculous and so, yeah. uh, I don't know, I'm, it's I fine. Like, so, yeah, so I like oh, those I'm videos on YouTube. It's like my, that. sometimes I look at the internet and I'm like at yeah. home at night, I'm like, this is my best friend. This is so yeah. funny. It's like if you high. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then our, mm -hmm. it's the craziest and nonsense, the most nonsense videos. Yeah, I like those. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm old school, so I'm not, like, I do YouTube and I'll obviously Instagram, but I think Point Break is a go-to for me. Mm, yes. Like, whether you're, you know, intoxicated or not, yeah. it's mm. a, I think I've watched that movie maybe more than any movie ever. I mean, and, that's and, a great answer. That's, that's a great funny. sober movie. It is. I almost yeah. said, I, and I it's almost like, said Blue Crush, honestly, oh, which is like one of my favorite movies ever. Yeah. 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 I, know, yeah, I yeah, like, like, Step in a Liquid and stuff like that. Like, oh, yeah, I like, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 surf movies but it might be an LA thing guys uh, I get they're trying to pull me out I just want to say thank you so much thank you for making such a fucking thank awesome you. It's so, it makes my life so much easier when the movie is amazing which all of your works always are and uh, thank you for always being just you know dude we've been doing this a long time so I just yes, want to say thank you thanks for always like looking smart and oh, well, I thank <laughs> yeah, you my grandmother said if you respect someone you got a dress to show them so that's really nice yeah. so I love you guys so that's thank you for good. being so thank kind you. Thank you. guys good to see you good to see hey, you I'm so fucking excited to be here Connor I'm gonna start with you you train your entire life not to miss punches not mm, not true, to miss hits true. so when you get on a movie set and they say listen you can't actually hit the P you gotta miss yeah. how difficult is that you know the thing about that is you'd be surprised that's not what they said they said hit the guy <laughs> uh, okay, not me the happy yeah. days. how yeah. often does that happen not, not not a lot I was I was very surprised you know the stunt uh, team uh, the whole the whole cast was strong and we all had a, a mission and uh, you know it was a lot of fun a lot of fun. Could you like demonstrate to me just how close no, don't you do actually? That. No, no, you don't want to. Yeah, is it? Is it? I mean, yeah, What we done was, there was this. See the way the shots are so realistic. Yeah. The landing shots. Oh, I, are so re realistic. Our stunt coordinator, the head of our stunt coordin coordinator, uh, his name is Gareth Warren. He came up with a method. I think it's called the four pass method, and it's basically. You know, you punch one side of the face, you punch the other side, you, you punch you, you punch in slow motion where you, you land and act it, yeah. and then you put a pad in front of the face. Mm -hmm. And then some method that they use where they blend all four of these uh, movements together, and it's exactly like a fucking smack. You know, I'm actually, that headbutt was like, I really headbutted him. It and looks yeah, good. It's crazy. It looks I've never, good. I've yeah. never seen it before. I've yeah. never yeah. seen that before in a movie. Yeah. So I'm very happy to be, you know, one of the four ones to get, you know, to get going on that. I thought it was brilliant. I love and that's, that's a hot tip to Gareth and his team. They're geniuses. They're amazing. Well, sure. I want to talk about the fight training because I'm always sort of curious as to like how well it transfers <laughs> into real life. I'm genuinely curious because obviously in the film, Dalton is able to rely on his UFC, you know, right. days. I'm sort of curious yeah. if tonight you're at a bar in Austin and someone wants to, to pick a fight with you, how quickly can you snap back into your roadhouse training? Like, does it does it transfer to real life at all? Uh, at first, I'm running towards Connor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, protect him. Yeah. Towards his team. I'm up on top of the body. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know me. You yeah, know yeah. me. If you want it, you get it. <laughs> I'm cleaning up. You know, it's 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 interesting because it's like I I you know never never like on a professional level, but you know as a kid doing taekwondo yeah. for six years, then tran transitioning into kickboxing and then, did you do and take, then boxing. Kickboxing? Yeah, yeah, I did then, all that stuff, yeah. right? Before, so it's before, like yeah. it's it's a lot like a dance yeah, when yeah. you're state because it's 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 a lot of lines, it's a lot of angles, mm -hmm. it's about body position, and especially when you have the camera behind you uh, or in certain places, you know, like Connor was saying, it's like if you throw your body and hit a certain way and I act a certain way and the camera's in a position, it's going to look nasty. Yeah. 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 You know, really in nice. terms of you know, I mean in terms of a bar, yeah. ready yeah. to go. Come on. We'll let you know later on. Yeah, we'll come out tonight. We'll, we'll see so you're saying I shouldn't call on you guys if things go down. You should call on them, I think. Yeah. I, 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 I'm, I'm just going to point and go, <laughs> Roadhouse! Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> be yeah, that's like the, the property. Yeah, exactly. That's the, the activation property. code. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love it. You were talking about movie fights. Obviously, no one knows fights more than you. How often do you do you watch a fight in a movie and look at it and go, 
That's not how it goes. No, That's you, not... you know, I, I, I always, I said this yesterday, I use my imagination in a movie. I don't, I wouldn't nitpick. <laughs> like, if you look at the Rocky series as mm. an example, that was really over-exaggerated. Mm. It's almost like, whoa. But it just was what it was. And, you know, I, I, I've always liked fights in movies. You know, I've not been one to nitpick. Mm. But saying that, when I was in on the set myself, this was my one, right? I'm in on this now. So I, I would have been picking things, you know. If I see... You know, all, all the lads are trained in that way and they've been doing the training. Jake had done Southpaw before, so mm. we had a bit of boxing training. But just certain times, you know, you might forget to turn the body a certain way or to use the torso a little bit more. And I would just be there and just giving him that little guidance and it would just make the shot that little bit more venomous. And that, that, would, be, that would be it. But I was very happy how it came out. Really Do you have, happy. An, and have I, an opinion on the best movie fight scene of all time? Anybody. Roadhouse. Jesus, Road yeah, Roadhouse. Yeah. You'd have to go. This, this one's yeah, going to blow is, the socks yeah, off yeah. it. This, 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 this one's going to blow the socks off it. For They're sure. on a bl- They're the Born Identities the- yeah. uh, fights were good oh, those also. Are good. Those that, are the fourth one. That was, that was one that we were discussing a lot on set. You know, it was Director Doug's uh, mm-hmm. movie also. So uh, that, that was a good one. There's Junior. Give me the rap I'm going to ask really quickly. You guys mentioned if you get in a tough situation, you're just going to call. In the film, it's shown that when things get bad, we're going to yeah, call you. Yeah. Is that allowed? Like, you know, like if you want to tap in and you say, like, okay, I'm going to tap in my buddy, and your buddy happens to be Conor McGregor. <laughs> is that. Is it, yeah, you sit her back. Yeah, so if I get into shit tonight, I'm going to go, Roadhouse! Yeah. And, then, and then you're going to come from like behind the <laughs> shadows. I'm a horse. I'm a horse. <laughs> 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 Oh, I love it. Guys, they're giving the rap. This is huge yeah, for me. Thank you for you. taking the time. Thanks and seriously, I do. That's an honor. Thank you. Well, we're going, we don't need roads.